The superintendent breaking the news after classes were dismissed, the changes now in place as two seniors fear they may not return to school this year. Part of me was like kind of thankful because it's still the middle of a pandemic and it kind of seems like everyone's just ignoring it. A senior year from home, not ideal, but now reality. But at the same time, like it felt like kind of a blow to the chest. Not sure if we're going to have homecoming, prom. These two student athletes at Heartland High School worried about the impact of remote learning, but they understand the health risk. I think a couple of our sports teams have recently been quarantined. The superintendent putting the high school on lockdown due to a spike of COVID-19 infections among the teenage population. We're not seeing outbreaks at, uh, you know, at, at, at any school. What we're seeing is that these exposures are related to extracurricular outside of the school gatherings. Health officials in Livingston County warning parents that there's a spike among the 14 to 18 year old population. Dr. Marquez says they are seeing about seven new cases a day countywide. The message I really have is for students and families to really take the public health practice very seriously, um, which means wearing a mask, um, washing your hands, uh, socially distancing when you're in um, sort of these, these social gatherings, social settings outside the school. Students went back to a hybrid learning mode a week ago. The superintendent, Chuck Hughes, says he's disappointed that he had to make this decision, one that students knew would likely come just not this soon. Right now we still have our golf season going on, so we have that norm, but it's still a little different than what we're used to. Like it's not worth having us go to school to risk lives of others. There have been at least 26 deaths from COVID-19 across the county since March. The superintendent says students could return to the classroom in two weeks. However, if they see another spike, it could be a lot longer. In Heartland, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.